Thanks for staying with, with us here at 630. Presidential candidate and Massachusetts Senator Elizabeth Warren rallied supporters in East Las Vegas on Wednesday with her trademark focus on issues, including a tax on assets of more than $50 million. But before that, Warren sat down exclusively with Politics Now co-host Steve Sebelius to talk about her plans. Steve stepping in to join us live, and uh, the senator was not shy. He's definitely not shy. <laughs> <laughs> when, you know, when you think of Elizabeth Warren, you naturally think plans. In fact, Warren has a plan for that, is a slogan plastered on tote bags and t-shirts on her campaign's website. But you also think of one of the most common words she uses in her stump speeches when she talks about reversing the power of entrenched special interests. That word is fight. In our interview, Warren talked about fighting for things such as universal child care, universal pre-kindergarten programs, raising wages for workers in those programs, free tuition for community colleges, forgiving student loan debt for most people, and a fund to help minority and women-owned businesses. That, she said, will all be paid for with a wealth tax of 2% on assets greater than $50 billion. What she said was the top one-tenth of 1%. One Warren also wants Medicare for All, a lifetime ban on former senators and Congress members lobbying their former colleagues and breaking up big tech companies to increase competition and reduce outsized political influence. And while she said there's room for compromise, more than likely, her agenda is going to require a fight. And if compromise means, oh, you know, one side wants to take away health care from 20 million Americans and the compromise is 10 million Americans will lose their health care, no, that's not compromise. You've got to be willing to be in the fight for what matters the most. Because here's how I see this. This is our chance. This is our moment in history. What happens in 2020 is going to affect us for generations to come. We can be in America that just works better and better for a thinner and thinner slice at the top and leaves everybody else behind. Or we can be the America of our best values. One of those values, Warren said, is bringing a complete end to the private prison industry in America. That includes some of the detention centers at the southern border where immigrants and children are currently being housed. They've been criticized recently for deplorable conditions. I don't believe anybody should be making a profit out of locking people up. And I'll give you two reasons for that. One is it's just plain wrong. But the second, is you build a private prison and it becomes another industry that has its own set of lobbyists in Washington. I was, I was uh, just at Homestead down in Florida. There is now a group that gets $775 a day for every child held in that facility. If we really believe people need to be locked up, then that is a government function and it should be run by the government. There's much more to our Elizabeth Warren interview, so tune into Politics Now at 4.30 p.m. Saturday for that, and we'll post the entire thing on our website after the show. That's lasvegasnow.com, so be sure to see that. There's a lot more to uh, what we talked about. You're busy a, politics weekend. It's going to be jam-packed. Yes. Oh, yeah. Hit the yeah. DVR if you're going to be out Saturday. Absolutely, <laughs> definitely. Because on the heels of that, does Senator...